1977, after a decade in the business, the British rock group Fleetwood Mac suddenly emerged as one of the biggest rock bands on the planet. And at the heart of their fame was the American girl who had appeared from nowhere to front the group, Stevie Nicks. She was beautiful, she was witchy, and damn right, it all played into the, the great success of Fleetwood Mac in the late 70s. A free woman, a sexually liberated woman, who owns herself, owns her own sexuality, very pretty in a conventional way, but out there, a player, just like the men. I think that was new in rock. You know, Stevie is an original. Yeah, you can pull, pull little bits from a lot of different artists, but she's an original. The magic, I've seen it. I've seen it happen as soon as she goes on stage and in every scenario I've I've been involved. I think even people that aren't huge Stevie Nicks fan, if you if you go to one of these shows, uh, you're gonna you're gonna see some of that. You're gonna experience some of that. Over the next 40 years, Stevie became one of the most iconic figures in rock and roll, transfixing audiences with her breakdowns, breakups, addictions, and triumphs. This is Stevie's story. To make the music and to write the songs that she has, has done, she has sacrificed huge parts of her personal life. And I suspect that is true of you know, most of the people whose music and art has, has endured.